Hi, Dennis Ray here. How are you? Today we'll look at Music Bee, the popular music player and manager. It actually has some surprising features for a music player. Let's take a glimpse at Music Bee and see what it has to offer. When you start Music Bee the first time, it will ask you to scan your PC for new files, be that audio, playlists, or video files and you can tell it where to look. In the main window, you have your main controls on the bottom, and on the top, you have these tabs, and then you can add tabs by hitting the plus. If you hit these three lines, you'll get these items that you can look at, uh, range panels, edit preferences, uh, select skins, Switch to mini player, switch to compact player, and show only playing assistant. And we'll look at some of these items when we look at the main menu. In the main menu, we first have file, and that has add files to library, scan folders for new files, the library, and that has some selections in there for you. Playlists, some selections there. Open Stream, Activate, Auto, Shutdown, and Exit. Next is Edit, which has some of the standard items you'll find in most menus, but it has the Saved Settings, where you can Save Settings Snapshot and Load Settings Snapshot, which is very handy. In View, uh, we have some interesting things in here. Uh, a mini player makes it really small. And compact player, not quite as small. And then got uh, start theater mode. I'll turn that off. And uh, got some selections for theater mode. Start visualizer. Oh, that's pretty nice. And then selections for visualizer. Uh, right now it's on light snow. Now playing assistant. Import, export, skins, and you make, it, make your selections there. Ah, uh, let's see. How about dark arsenic? Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, dark gray. Kind of nice, actually. Yeah, let's go back to, oops, let's look at multicolor. Ooh, that's colorful. Ooh. And back to the default, Music B3. And then arrange panels, refresh. Next in the main menu is controls. Uh, turn on auto DJ. And this is uh, similar to random play. And then have some controls that are standard on most music players. And equalizer, DSP effects. Looking at this, you have a uh, the equalizer, access to that, where you can make your selections either have a manual or you can change the settings for that, or you can make your selections for presets, where uh, if you select a preset one, they'll make the settings that work for that. And you can change this from 
10 band to 15 band. That's rather nice. Okay, back to controls. Yeah, scroll. And what this is, this is where you can sign in to last.fm, which is actually a music site. Repeat shovel, shuffle, crossfade, and uh, this is to fade out and then fade into the next track. This works best with Auto DJ. Then there's Replay Gain, which is uh, a way of normalizing the track so that the volume of all the tracks are the same. And uh, I did a video about how to do that, and I'll put a link for that then in the description below. Right now it's off, but you can turn it on uh, with Smart Gain, which is uh, ensures that there is no distortion in the sound, or you can turn on track gain or album gain. Uh, I normally use track gain myself because I it well it just seems to work the best for me, but you can see what works the best for you. When I grew up in the 60s, and yes I am that old, we couldn't like and subscribe to YouTube channels like the Dennis Ray channel, but you can. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell down below. That would be groovy, cool, far out, and out of sight. Thank you. There is tools. And here there's taken tools, artwork, organized files, locate missing files, convert format. So you can convert music files from one format to another. Um, manage duplicates, rip CD. And this is really nice having a tool like this in a music player. And burn disc. Also very interesting that a music player would have this where you can burn an audio CD or a data CD, DVD, or a Blu-ray disc. And analyze volume, restore original volume, and advanced. Then of course there's help. Online help, support, and about. Well, let's see what Music B sounds like, shall we? Wow, that sounded pretty good. So where can you get Music B? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is the website, and I'll put a link for this in the description below. If you scroll down, you can read some information about Music B. And you can hit this link to download Music B, or you can hit this, take you to another page where you can download Music B, the installer, or from another mirror. Or you can hit this to download the portable version. And uh, I'll put some links in the description below where you can download the portable version from some other sites. 
or you can hit this to download the Music B from the Windows Store. And I'll put a, a link in the description below where you can download it from the Windows Store too. That was Music B, a really great music player and manager. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Take care.